Our team coverage continues now. News 6's Vanessa Ariza joins us live now from Boone High School. And Vanessa, students say they were shown a video this morning telling them about the tragic death. And you spoke to some of those students today. We did, Julie. We spoke with two friends of Alejandro's. They are still trying to grasp exactly what took place this morning. Now, they told me they were alerted while they were in class. But as far as the details, knowing that he was shot, that's something they weren't told. Extra law enforcement was on Boone High School's campus today after this morning's deadly shooting about a mile away. Man, I can't believe it. It's hard. He was a really good person. Joseph Toronto was a good friend of the victim, 15-year-old Alejandro Vargas Martinez. They sat next to one another in class and were texting today before they even got to school. I texted him this morning and we were talking. I said I had a headache and he was said, go take some medicine. I was like, all right, I got you. And then that was the last time I talked to him. When Martinez wasn't in class, Toronto said that is when the panic set in. His teacher asking if he had his number to call and check and make sure he was okay. When I tried calling him, his phone went straight to voicemail. And I texted him over and over again, where are you, where are you, where are you? Everybody's worried, where are you? The shooting, even though not on campus, prompted a lockout at Boone High School. The principal sending out this message to parents. This is Mr. Johns informing you that we were on a lockout this morning due to police activity in the area. It was lifted around 7.15 this morning, but shortly after, another automated message was sent out. We were made aware by law enforcement that early this morning, one of our students was tragically killed on the way to school. And grief counselors were brought here on campus for both students and staff. I have been told by a representative with Orange County Schools that those grief counselors will remain here through the rest of the week and quite possibly will be brought back in after the Christmas break. Julie. Vanessa, thank you. Vanessa Ariza reporting live.